Okay, so I went through and watched some of those tutorial... Well, they weren't really videos, they are more like interactive scenarios, I guess. I went through a few of those and I think I found a solution. We'll go ahead and just scrap this. This one seems to be working. The idea is, it was all the wording of the mission, if I can get to that. Let's see, mission control, active. Haul the RT-10 solid fuel booster. You don't necessarily need to use it, you just need to get it into flight. So what I'm going to be trying to do is, let's see, we need a command pod, and we need this solid fuel booster. If we right click on this, we can actually take all the fuel out of this so now it's basically just the booster itself. It's not going to add any more weight with the fuel or anything like that. And now I can use this liquid fuel engine because it actually has a throttle control. Like you can speed up and slow it down. The solid fuel boosters do not. They just take off at whatever. But with these liquid fuel engines we also need these fuel tanks and one isn't going to be enough to get us to where we need to go. The tutorial I played, it used five, and that seemed to work pretty well. So we're going to go with five, along with this liquid fuel engine. And also, if we take this off, it's going to be hard to survive re-entry with a rocket this big. So if we use a decoupler, we can detach, if I can, there we go, we can detach all of this weight right here and it will make it so much easier to survive re-entry. So this should get us there. We will put some stability fins on, just like so. Uh, we need a parachute as well. And also with that tutorial I watched, there's some settings you can change with this parachute. Uh, I didn't quite understand. I think this is the altitude at which it will fully deploy and the minimum pressure. I know on that tutorial they raised it all the way up to maximum. I think that's like 0.04 atmospheres. So it will deploy like in near space conditions, I'm guessing. Let's go ahead and bump it all the way up, just like I did in that tutorial. I'm sure I'll end up understanding a lot of this the more I go into this. So we need, now we need to set our staging. That should be enough. Okay, so first off we want that liquid engine. And then second will be the solid fuel engine because that's how we're actually going to achieve the mission. We need to stage it at when it's when the conditions are met, if that makes any sense. And we'll put the decoupler there too. And then the parachute. Okay, I think we're good to go. I'm not going to worry about putting any science uh, parts on this or anything like that. Okay. Let's double check. So there's a thrust limiter, so it's like a uh, one-time throttle control it looks like with the solid fuel boosters. I think we're good to go. And also you can kind of uh, target, I guess, your flight, mid-flight with the WASD keys. You can actually move around a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how to actually target specific parts of the map. I know if we go to this map, it brings up uh, a map of the planet, but I can't really do anything with it. I'm sure. Wait, what's this? Okay, this is that nav ball thing. 
Let's see there, it's showing my spacecraft. I don't know how to set actual target points though. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, we need to get this contract fulfilled. I need to hit 41,000 to 46,000 meters and 150 meters a second to 310 meters a second. So with this throttle control, I should be able to set my speed pretty easy. And then the height, I think I'll hit about 60,000 or so max. So I just need to be going at a certain speed once I hit 41,000. I think I can do this. Okay, here we go. Like I said, you can use the WASD keys to kind of alter your trajectory. And also, if you hit this SAS button, uh, stability assist. So it's actually putting me on an arc for some reason. Not entirely sure if I like that. Let's. Ah. Uh, we'll be alright. Okay, so let's increase our throttle. You can do this with the left shift key. Just to make sure I actually get up high enough. And then the left control key will decrease throttle. So we're going way too fast, but I gotta make sure I hit 41,000 feet. Should. Let's actually just turn the throttle all the way off. See if we can coast our way there. I might end up slowing down too quickly though. And again, maybe not, because we're climbing pretty quickly. I still need to get slowed down to about half of what I'm going. Okay, and we're about halfway there, so this should be perfect. If not, we can always speed up a little bit. Still slowing down. And we're going to speed up just slightly, it looks like. Except, oh, I'm out of fuel. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. Yeah, I can slow all the way down to 150 meters a second. I should hit it. Oh no, we're dropping. I didn't make it. I need to be going just a little bit faster. Okay, so we can hit escape and revert flight to launch and then just try again. And it saves all my staging, everything. All we gotta do is hit space. Okay, so we need to we needed to be going just a little bit faster. Just bring the throttle all the way up and leave it there for a while. And turn it off now so it can conserve fuel. I might actually need another fuel tank. Yeah, it's not going to make it, is it? That gun's gonna come close. I'm gonna slow down way too much. But then again, I don't know. So we're almost at the height. But my speed is dropping quickly.
I think I might actually hit it. Okay, there's 41,000. Now I just need to slow down before I hit 46, and I think I'm going to... Oh, this is going to be... We got it. Everything is checked, but I wasn't quite going 310. I was going over 310 meters a second. Everything's checked. Huh. I don't know. So now we just need to get a successful re-entry. So let's speed up time until we start descending a little bit. Okay. So now we can stage our decoupler. And now we won't be falling quite as fast because it's we have quite a bit less weight. Let's see what happens if I deploy my parachute now. Oh shoot, it didn't come out. That could be bad. Why didn't it come out? Should have deployed it right about now. Yeah, now that I don't have the whole rocket like attached, I'm going quite a bit slower than I usually do. I think it's also because I have that flat side pointed towards the ground and the parachute did deploy. Awesome. Yes. That was kind of worrying me. I think it's because I had it set at to deploy at 0.75 atmospheres or whatever, and that would be really close to the surface. Okay, so maybe it was a good thing I set it like that. I think I'm understanding that now. We did it. We really did it. Recover vessel. Fingers crossed, is the contract fulfilled? Let's see, we got 0.8 science for the recovery of the vessel that survived the flight. I bet we lost quite a bit of money though, because we didn't recover. Yeah, the only thing we got was the command pod and the parachute and the mono propellant. I still don't know what that is. I imagine we lost quite a bit of money because we lost all those engines. But then again, I probably got money for fulfilling that contract. Archives completed. Yes, we did it. We got 16,000. That is awesome. We actually did it. Okay, now what's available? Test the liquid fuel engine in flight over Kerbin. I kind of just did that. And the stack decoupler, we did that too. So actually, I should have saved that last rocket. We could have just did the same thing. We have to hit 56,000 meters, going 320 meters a second. I should be able to do that. I'd have to add another... Actually, I'd probably take that other engine off, that solid fuel engine and hit that, because that'd take quite a bit of weight off. You know what? I think we're going to accept this one. And that decoupler one, too. And... Yes, okay, it does save my rocket. We're just going to take the... No. going to take this off, put that back on, and we're going to try the mission with this rocket. Before we do that, actually yes we are going to save that. Let's check the research. We have 20 science, we can actually get general rocketry now. Stability, survivability. 
That gets another liquid fuel engine, another solid, solid fuel booster, and a larger fuel tank. Stability gets this radial decoupler. That's for like wings and stuff. Yeah, let's take general rocketry. It's going to open up advanced and general construction. Crew cabins. Okay, so now we're actually getting into the actual space flight stuff. Okay, so. I think we can fulfill those two contracts with this rocket. As long as I'm smart with my throttle controls. We have to hit. Oh, shoot. I have to decouple at 60,000 feet, going 630 meters a second. And I also have to reach 56,000 meters, going 320 meters a second. So I have to be going, hmm, maybe it was a mistake taking both those at the same time. Let's go for it. Probably should have put another, another fuel tank on. Six thousand. So if I hit if I hit sixty thousand going six hundred and thirty meters a second, that will fulfill both of them. Wow, that's going to be tough to do. I'm going to need more fuel. I can tell already. Okay, we're going the right speed. I'm not going to hit 60,000 though. Or maybe I will. So I can slow all the way down to 630 meters a second. Okay, there's that one. That one is completed. I was going too fast to fulfill that contract though. So I guess, I don't know, we have quite a few, quite a bit of time to fulfill that, so we should be all right. Oh wow, I can just turn which, which way I want. Okay, so let's speed this up. If I was going a little bit slower, I could have fulfilled that. Right there. Speed it up. Uh oh. That could be bad, I don't know. We're going pretty quick. Something exploded. Okay. Looks like we're going to survive this one. Awesome. I should have been doing crew reports though, so I can get more science. And I probably should have put some science parts on there too. Okay, so. We needed to... Let me check that contract.
need to slow the speed down. I was going too fast last time. So instead of setting throttle at max, I should back it off a little bit. So I'm like almost slowing down by the time I hit 56,000. And I gotta remember to do crew reports, especially when I'm up in the air and out in space. So I think I left the throttle at max like that entire time there. So if I leave it at max about until my fuel hits about half. There's a lot of stuff on the ground. Is that my engines that I've... Okay, so now we'll back off the throttle a little bit. Actually, all the way, because we'll save the fuel. Actually, I'm going to need more speed. Still going to need more speed. Okay, I'm feeling good at, about this one. Just gotta hit 56,000 and slow down to 490 meters a second. I can slow all the way down to 320 as well, so. I still have a little bit more fuel. I think I'll hit this one. Yeah, there's 490. And there's 56. We did it. Awesome. So might as well kick that out. I'm losing a ton of money with those, I have a feeling. I need to pay attention to how much all that costs. And actually, let's do a crew report right now. Should have put some of those uh, goo containers on there. So I'm sure I'll get different results if I test it in space. Falling back down. So apparently I don't need a heat shield or anything for this. Because last time we had quite a bit of heat, but nothing bad happened. Oh shoot, that was red when I deployed that. Hopefully I'm all right. Okay, good, awesome. I think those explosions are my engines hitting the ground after I've decoupled them. All right then, there's what, three contracts fulfilled? This might be a good place to end this video, really. So I don't wanna keep, I think about 25 minutes would be perfect for video length for this. So we got 19 science out of this one. And then that crew report, we got 4.5 science. Wait, I got 4.6 science out of this. I have 19 total. Okay, I see.
Let's see, I'm getting... So the part value of that command pod was 573, and I got 573 back. So I'm getting the full value back each time I launch, which is surprising. Very surprising. But I'm losing all of the money from my engines because I'm decoupling them. And he's not getting any experience. I need to switch my pilots, too. Okay, so... Actually, before I end this video, let me check to see how much money I'm losing on these engines. Let's see, it was the swivel engine was 1,200. Ugh, I'm losing 1,200 per mission. Plus... 5 times 150 is what? Uh, 750? I'm losing about 2,000? Yeah, about 2,000 per mission. That's not bad, because I'm making it up with these contracts. Like, the ones I just fulfilled. The last one was the... Wait. Why didn't that get... Oh, I think I know why. Because I have to test the engine at that altitude. I have to stage it at the altitude and speed. Oh, shoot. Okay. So if I would just... I don't know. We'll check it out next video. I think I'll go ahead and end this one here. And I'll see you guys next time.